The wanted man is like an energizer bunny and scrambled uphill and down dale. Hades loves a good rabbit chase. Get out! Get out now! Get out! You run and I'll nail you. Right, you're under arrest. In Wellington, police dog handler Sue and her German shepherd Hades are en route to track down a man who's struggling to understand home detention. One of my colleagues from our Pororo section has called and asked Hades and I to go and assist with a guy who's breached his home detention. Around the corner from the target house, the team gets a final update. They're going to knock on the front door and if you just ran straight down around the back of there, that'd be fine. If he runs, he's ours. Hades comes complete with four piston-powered paws, and he's ready to use them. Let's get in there. Come, come, come. Sue and Hades head for the back to keep a keen eye on any rapid exit, while others head for the front door, hoping to give the wanted man the shock of his life. All right, police, come to the door now. Nobody's answering, but the word is that someone is inside, so Sue turns up the volume. Word comes in that the target has been spotted outside, but near the location. Guy, we think, has decamped out the back of the address while we were having a briefing, possibly. So, off-duty officers seen someone come over the back. We've got a start point. See if Hades can find him. Gotta be hung down there. Come on. He's got a dog over there, eh? Right? So the last place I saw him was running through here. No one's been through there, and then over the dome. It's key information, saving Hades valuable minutes of tracking. See if Hades can find him. Good boy. The wanted man is like an energizer bunny and scrambled uphill and down dale. Hades loves a good rabbit chase. Good boy. Come. Come here, buddy. Come here. Hades is 40 kgs of pure police dog. A bit of native scrub won't hold him back from getting his target. He's been hiding in here. Hop. Who in no time has the wanted man sniffed out and caught up. Right. Come. Get out. Get out now! Get out! You run, and I'll nail you. Right, you're under arrest. Let him go. I won't run. No, you won't run. Sit up! Sit up! Hurry up. The offender is no doubt wishing that he'd stayed at home. Let him go. Good boy. Hey, let him go. Good job. With his little adventure over, the man is escorted back to waiting police. Courtesy of Sue and a happy Hades. Go down to Hades. Keep them to ground. That's how we like to end dogs. The man was convicted and sentenced to 100 hours community work. The Christmas and New Year period can be frantic at Auckland International Airport, with travellers leaving, arriving and transiting. It's all hands to the pump for customs, with dog handlers like Brad and his drug dog Waldo running checks around the clock. Wally, come. Fine. Good boy. In the arrivals hall, Waldo has an urgent mission, pulling Brad to the service bench and a scarfie. Uh, this is a drug dog? Yeah. Yeah. He's telling me you smell drugs today. Yeah. Explain that to me, please. I smoke pot. You smoke pot? How pot often do you smoke pot? Regularly, I live in Switzerland, it's legal. Yep, no worries with that. You carrying on you today, sir? No, I'm not that stupid. Not that stupid. All right. I would imagine maybe there's, you know, after smell. Yeah. I smoke before I get on long flights. This man's straight up admission and cool attitude can be a smokescreen for hidden drugs. Brad's seen it all before. Just to make sure that you're not that stupid, is that we will just have a bit of a look. We'll come come along with you, no grab your bag, and we're going to have a look, all right? Sure. Okay. Waldo receives his remuneration with a Christmas bonus. Good dog, well done, well done, well done, good boy, well done. The man Waldo has sniffed out has recently been in the Himalayas. We hiked around Everest. We did uh, three weeks of hiking. And whilst in Nepal, he got higher than its mountains. Some local green. The bag was full of it, I guess. Definitely some residue. Custom staff must now establish whether any Nepalese shrubbery has come with him. Um, this is a gentleman here. Um, he's admitted to smoking cannabis quite regularly. Um, also, smokes just before he flies. He says he's not stupid enough to carry anything on him, but I think it's worth a check. 
Customs officer Stacy discovers he's an extreme sportsman who obviously likes getting high whilst being high. At this stage, we're still waiting on his bags. Um, it's looking like one of them hasn't made it this far. Um, so yeah, once, we, once he has got his luggage, we'll go through to search. He's picking one bag, and the bag's going straight to Queenstown. Yeah, his other one's not here either. His luggage is on a different flight, so in the meantime, he and his backpack will be getting an extreme search. All right, just in this way. Even the formality of the red zone can't dampen this man's optimistic outlook. So the dog indicated on you. Can you tell us why? Breakfast. Breakfast, what's breakfast? I like to uh, smoke a joint before I get on long cruises. And you've got nothing on you today? Nothing on me today. Okay. Stacy has a look through the man's backpack, and although he's brought this, it appears he hasn't told Porky's about bringing drugs. All right, so I'm just going to take some swabs of your bag to make sure there's nothing there, and then we'll just do some x-rays of it. And it's come up with nothing. The extreme sportsman is extremely lucky. Nothing shows up on the ion scanner or in the x-ray machine. When you were here last time, did you use last time cannabis? When did you I here bring it here? No. Time? No, but did you use it while you were here last time? No, there wasn't any New Zealand action. I remember actually trying to buy some, <laughs> and I was actually trying to, like, I was asking a couple of kids, but nobody had any. A couple of kids? Yeah, well, I, I remember asking a couple of, you know, some local people. And, you know, they could find me a joint okay. because I'm a smoker. If the opportunity came up, would you use it here? I would say at this point I would have to decline. You'd have to decline? Uh, well, I'm feeling a little bit threatened and intimidated at the moment. <laughs> With customs checks complete, the man's outcome will now be the call of immigration. Because he is a regular pot user, um, immigration do want to have a word to him. The extreme sportsman's luggage went directly from Hong Kong to Queenstown. It will be checked upon landing. But in the meantime, customs officer Stacy found out the only drugs he has on him is residue stored in his body fat. Like I said at the beginning, I'm not hiding anything. Max smelled my breakfast. All righty. All right, so we'll just wander upstairs to immigration. Yeah. Immigration will have the final say on whether the man will get to join his bags in Queenstown. I really hope that uh, they can see that I'm not uh, hiding anything from anybody. And if you ask me, I'll answer exactly what I'm feeling and what, what I'm thinking. The only radical pastime he can look forward to now is extreme jet lag. It seems the Lord was not doing first world problems today. The man was declined entry by New Zealand immigration. He and his bags were put back onto another plane to the Northern Hemisphere. A great job by drug dog Waldo.